Jay, uh, does the president still have confidence in the acting IRS commissioner? Uh, you know, again, uh, John, I'm not going to get into personnel. Uh, the fact of the matter is the uh, president will be discussing uh, these issues with uh, Treasury leaders uh, later today. And I think his views on the overall IG uh, report uh, have been conveyed to the public and to you. Uh, so I, 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 I'm not going to get into personnel matters. Is the IRS leadership response to the report, which is included at the end of the report, mm -hmm. uh, says, acknowledges some minor problems in methodology, basically, but says, we believe that frontline career employees that made the decisions acted out of a desire for efficiency and not out of any political or partisan viewpoint. And the IRS says that these issues at this point have been resolved. Does the President buy that? Well, the President believes that uh, the Treasury Department, as he has directed, uh, needs to hold those responsible for these failures accountable and that they, you know, they need to make sure that each of the Inspector General's recommendations, each of them, is implemented quickly so that such conduct never happens again. And, you know, you pointed out the observations of the IG uh, audit or report. Uh, and I think that's uh, significant because intention is uh, a, a part of the story here. Uh, but regardless of the intent, the President believes the conduct was wrong. Uh, it is inappropriate to use the kind of criteria that were used, whatever the goal was, efficiency or otherwise, uh, to make the decisions that were made uh, about implementing the laws regarding these, these kinds of uh, 501c4 organizations, uh, and that he expects those changes to be made, all of the Inspector General's recommendations to be implemented. Uh, and for those uh, responsible for the failures that we've seen, be held accountable. So let me just ask that 